Hello everybody and welcome back to The Sims 3 Hidden Springs Part 12. Uh, still trying to kill off Sebastian. Hopefully he will drown. Uh, I'm pretty sure his energy needs to get like a lot lower for him to actually start drowning, but... Um, Rosie will be up here soon, eventually. Hopefully nobody is in the bathroom when she gets up. So... Um, have some bread and jam. Let's just buy a new mirror. You don't need a new mirror. There's like a dozen mirrors in this house. Jeez. She'll be up in a moment anyway. But no, there's a mirror here. There's a mirror here. A mirror there. Um, there's a mirror there, there's one right there, there's one right there. I like how we like never use most of this house. But yeah, there's so many mirrors in this house. It's ridiculous. Hee <laughs> hee, drowning. Sims breathe air. Anything else gets a little suffocating. Ha ha. He's fatigued. Yeah, well, you're not going anywhere, bucko. So sit tight and enjoy the water. Oh, baby's gonna be hungry soon. Um, and I do apologize for my sniffliness, but, uh, the weather where I live has been kind of freaky lately, you know, like, one day, it's spitting snow and it's like 15 degrees outside, Fahrenheit, and then the next, it's like 50 degrees, and it's like trying to rain. Hey, what's going on? Oh, did he die? He's dying? Yay! He's dying! Bye, Sebastian! Goodbye! Tee <laughs> hee. There's a Grim Reaper. There's a headstone, and uh. She wants to see the ghost of her wealthy spouse. So I think when she's done eating, we're gonna have her come outside. Although it is 5.38 in the morning, so we'll probably just have to put this inside the house, turn it into some kind of urn, and uh, just for a night let him roam around the house as a ghost. So. Here lies Sebastian, first wealthy husband of Rosie. Oh, to die. <laughs> oh, that's that's awesome. Okay, go work on your painting. Oh, she's a little tanner. She looks nice with a tan. Where the hell is he going? Like, seriously, where are they going? Random dog, stray dog. What, are you, like, gonna go get in a taxi with the Grim Reaper and just sh take off? I like how she doesn't even care! <laughs> That's kind of funny. Look at this trail that this dude is leaving on our driveway. Look at that. Tisk tisk. <coughs> Bye, Sebastian. Goodbye. 
Goodbye. Oh, heartbroken. It's Holly's birthday. Yay. Throw a bachelorette party. Why? You're not engaged to anybody. That would just be weird. Oh, poor thing is heartbroken. Boo hoo. Um, let's put this right there. Oh, that's off. Here lies Sebastian, first wealthy husband to die. That's just awesome! I love it. We need to go get Holly a birthday cake. When you are done with your painting, go get Holly a birthday cake. Because it is Holly's birthday. How's this pink coming out? If anything would render, jeez. Uh, my nose. I have like this constant feeling of I need to sneeze, and oh look, it does look like some tides. It looks like a ten-year-old painted it, but it does look like some of the tides. Come on, finish your painting already. Is Holly upset about Sebastian dying? No. And I think we're actually going to have a birthday party for Holly and we're going to invite over Peter Winterly. But not his wife. Oh. Maybe we don't actually know him. I don't know. Finish your painting. Why did this not go away? She watched a movie. Thank you. And then you can sell that painting. You can stop crying over your dead husband. And... Where's my butler? Where is she hanging out at? Oh, she's in the living room. Ugh, I'm so sniffly. Hey, we can get rid of the walls around the pool now. Haha! <laughs> Come on! Don't be slow. Okay. We should probably put back these floor tiles. There we go. Pull stuff. Uh, let's put back this. Right. Oh. Right there. Put one of these. Right there. Right there. Right there. And we'll get a couple of these. Yeah, why not? We'll get one in every color. <laughs> and voila. I'm so sniffly. I'm so sorry, guys. I feel like crap. Honestly, but I know if I don't record, you guys are not gonna be happy with me. So, because like I take a personal day, and you guys like freak out on me, and it's like ah. 
It's like, I'm sorry, I needed a personal day. Sometimes I can't help it. Ugh, my god, my nose. Ow, my finger hurts. I have like this cut, this like really deep cut on my finger and I honestly have no clue where I got it. Like I know where I was when I got it, but I don't know how I got it. I was babysitting and it's like, where the hell did this cut on my finger come from? But, because honestly I didn't have a clue. When did I give her a... Eh, whatever. Throw a party. It's gonna be the bangingest party ever. Ooh, ooh. Do we have a stereo? Ooh. We do. Volume. Crank it up. Change it to kids music because it's your daughter's birthday, not your birthday. No. Oh, boo freaking who? Who the hell? Our butler is swimming in her PJs. Okay, or her athletic wear, I'm not sure. I think that's her PJs. <laughs> Whatever, our butler's being weird. We are having a... We can have a funeral? We're having a birthday. Dress code? Casual. Actually, let's make it formal. And we will invite... Her, her, and the grandparents. Yep. Looney, Eagle Rat, Gulaga Buff. You can uh, change into your formal wear, and then go downstairs and dance. Sweet dancing. What is sweet dancing? The hell is sweet dancing? Oh my! I don't know what sweet dancing is. What is sweet dancing? Oh, is that like a trait thing? Or it's just something called something else? Uh, my coffee cup is empty. Damn. Pusha! <laughs> Goose Come dance. You too, come dance. Jalon! Dance with us in the entertainment room. <laughs> Yahoo! E -E. I like how I she's don't. elated but heartbroken. From witnessing death? You didn't witness crap! Neeb, neeb. Shark <sighs> you didn't <laughs> witness anything. What's wrong with the baby? She's lonely. Um, who the hell are you? I don't remember inviting you. Whatever, come dance. You know you're wearing the exact same thing as the mother-in-law. Which is kind of funny. They're wearing the exact same outfit. Okay. Um. Go deal with the baby for a few seconds. Change diaper. Play with. Give bottle. Snuggle. And then. We can go into the dining room. And have ourselves a birthday party.
Oh, wicked! We got the police cruiser! Oh, we can't sell it for anything. That sucks. Can we at least use it? <gasps> we can use it! Oh my god. <laughs> yes, yes, baby is hungry. <laughs> and then baby blows out birthday candles. Holly's having a birthday, come one and all. Um. Wait. What are you doing? Who the? Who the hell are you? What? I don't know who you are. She's a Vanderberg. Who are you? I don't know who she is. Uh. Oh! That's Sebastian's unknown sister. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I like a little sneeze attack there. Party's not over yet. It's birthday party. Come, look, come watch Baby Holly blow out her candles. Where is everybody else? They're... Turn that off. I like how she just leaves Holly over there in the corner. What is she, the red-headed stepchild? She's blonde, like her mommy. Oh no, she's like really, really blonde, like Sebastian. My, my. Ignore that. Teaching art class, sure. And then you can eat some cake. Use the bathroom, and then I need you to go and potty train your child. Why is everybody up in her room? Potty train Holly. You! Francisca! Get out! Yep, yep, everybody loves the party. Yep, yep. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, come on, go to the bathroom. So you can potty train your kid before she does it in her diaper. Please. And then you can just, I guess, leave her on the floor so she can play with some toys or whatever. I don't know. Oh, for the love of a uh, potty train, Holly. Francisca, get out of my daughter's bedroom. Get out. Go. Take a hike. Why is she using that stairwell though and the staircase is closer right there? Yes, thank you, please leave. Ah, oh, damn it, we were late. She already went to the bathroom. Uh, Rosie's party was awesome, Virgin got epic. Sweet! 
change her dirty diaper. And then take a shower. Don't worry about the potty. Go. Rosie cannot sleep while Holly is crying. Holly isn't crying anymore. The only reason she was crying was because she had a smelly diaper. Um, change appearance, play in your outfit. And then you can come into your room and play with all your little toys. Crawl faster! Crawl faster! And I'm not even going to worry about, like, trying to teach her everything, blah, blah, blah. Good job, you broke the shower, you stupid woman. Oy. <laughs> My sims, they're just, uh... Mm. Let's see. Oh, I love these little hats, these little snow hats. They're so cute. And these ones, they're just so adorable. Um, yeah, why not? Let's give her that, just because I never give my sins that. Like, ever. Yep, there we go. She's good. I don't really like her face that much. I think it's her mouth that bothers me. Oh, yeah, hmm. you broke the shower. It's your fault. It's your fault, Rosie. <sighs> okay. Let's see what cute little outfit we can put her in. Oh, this matches her little hair ribbon. It's about the only thing that matches her little hair ribbon. Give her some nice red shoes. Formal. Um. Well, let's give her this, but let's make it red. I want it to be red. A little, little darker than that, but there we go. Works for me. And then her shoes can be red. Sleepwear. Give her a diaper. Some little pink socks. Outerwear. She can wear the little purple jumpsuit. Yep, that works. Alrighty. And now you little girl can go play. Enjoying solitude. Oh. Yes, she's a loner, and she's neurotic. This sim's going to grow up to be so messed up because we're not even going to worry about teaching her how to walk and talk. And we're just going to see whatever kind of traits she gets. And she's going to just play with her toys. Rosie's sleeping. Um... She ages up in about a week. She's got 25 days. She can still steal candy from her child. Which I think is absolutely hysterical. But... <laughs> um, I guess that's it for this part. Uh, please remember to subscribe, comment, and rate. Also, if you want to like follow, friend, or read anything that I'm up to. All links are in the description below. Please check some of them out. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.